What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. Today, the Destiny 2 trailer has been released by Bungie. It's called Rally the Troops and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's two different versions of a motivational speech given to the remaining Guardians by Cade 6 and by Zavala. They got different styles, but this is a lot of fun. So here's what we're going to do today. We're going to watch the full trailer, then I'll be back for a full breakdown. Times may be dark, but we are Earth's greatest hope. Look around you. A gathering of noble guardians new and old. Okay, listen up. Um, you're a bunch of dirty misfits, but you're all that's left, so you'll have to do. Our home was attacked. I was there and fought against the endless onslaught. It kept coming, so I kept firing. Not gonna lie, I was magnificent. Despite the sacrifice of many brave guardians, we lost everything. The tower, the city, our home. So, everything is gone. Your stuff, my stuff, most importantly, my stuff. Today we know our enemy. His name is Gary, or Gil. Glenn? Is it? I don't know. It's something with a G! Go! I know you look to me in times of peril, but this is not my battle alone. Which means if I don't see you out there, I'll kill you myself. It is time to avenge this injustice, for that is the duty of all Guardians. Worst case scenario, you die. But who knows? Maybe you won't. So I ask you, who will stand with me? Yeah! Oh, really, guys? That, that was inspiring. Also, there will be a ton of loot! Yeah! Uh, yeah, right? That's what I thought. Pre-order and get beta early access. So this is a pretty stunning trailer. Not only is it humorous and motivational, but it also shows off a lot about what we can expect from Destiny 2. Cade directly mentions loot, uh, losing loot, getting new loot. That's all fun. That's fantastic. We also get this look at the Traveler, which has a very different look to it. It's now got this orange glow to it. Is that a reflection from the last city that's burning? Is the Traveler itself under attack? Has it come alive again? We'll have to wait until Destiny 2 to find out, but it is very cool looking. We also see a lot of new enemies uh, of the Cabal. We see these dog-like things. We see new uh, shields for the Cabal Phalanx, and we hear about their leader, Gaul. I would expect this is going to be definitely the boss of the first raid for Destiny, the main antagonist, the guy that we take down at the end of the raid. I love the look of this trailer. It's very dirty. It's very dusty. It does, of course, have Cade, you know, adding some lightness, adding some humor in between Zavala, really doing that motivational speech, that, that more traditional motivational speech that we see so often in movies time and time again. This is a very exciting trailer, but there's a lot of exciting news coming out today. We did get a confirmation that the PC version of Destiny 2 is a real thing. So we've heard this heavily rumored. A lot of people accepted it as fact. Now we know for sure from Bungie, there is going to be a PC version of Destiny 2. We also got an official look at what the collector's edition for Destiny 2 will be, and it's now available for pre-order. Inside the collector's edition, you'll of course get the base game, a Destiny 2 expansion pass, get access to both Expansion 1 and Expansion 2, offering brand new story missions, cooperative activities, competitive multiplayer, and a wealth of new weapons, armor, and gear. A Destiny 2 Frontier Bag, which is a customizable bag that can be worn as a backpack or messenger bag. Also, it includes a 15-inch laptop or tablet sleeve with a protective pocket slip. A Frontier Kit featuring a solar panel USB charger with built-in light, paracord, and a solar blanket. Limited edition steelbook case, which includes a booklet with secrets into the Cabal Empire, a Cabal schematic, collectible postcard images, and Cabal military pawns. There will also be some premium digital content, a legendary sword, legendary player emote, and a Cabal Empire-themed emblem. So 
That's actually interesting that emblems are coming back in some way to Destiny 2. I wouldn't be surprised if there are some player rewards for Destiny 1 players uh, coming forward in the way of an emblem or several emblems to Destiny 2. So we got the trailer today. We found out what's in the collector's edition today. We know the release date. We know that you can pre-order Destiny 2 and get beta for, get a beta for early access. We also found out there's going to be a reveal stream for gameplay on May 8th. So that will likely come in the form of a, you know, the kind of bungee live stream that we're used to at this point, where we'll actually get to see Destiny 2 in action, which should be very exciting. It's what I'm looking forward to most right now. And I'm a little surprised. I expected this game to be revealed, or at least the gameplay revealed, at uh, E3, but it looks like we're going to get to see it before E3 even happens. So that should be really exciting. It's definitely going to be a summer full of hype for Destiny 2. A lot of people are really excited about this. Not just Destiny players, but people who bounced off of Destiny initially are seeing that Destiny 2 is coming out. They have high expectations for what this game will provide. Hopefully it fixes what was wrong with Destiny or what drove them away from Destiny to begin with. And uh, you're seeing a lot of the community get very excited about it. I'm actually really excited that this game is coming out for PC. Obviously, it it grows the community for Destiny in a big way. Uh, instead of landing on two platforms, it's going to land on three platforms. There's a lot of PC players who will get their first taste of Destiny with Destiny 2. And I know there's some, there's some worry out there in the community that it will bring a level of toxicity into the community that we're not used to. But I think with the strength of our community and the positivity uh, that we promote, uh, we'll be able to overcome anything like that and uh, actually show these guys who come in what an awesome community we have formed over the past three years. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.